It's Mike, Twin Circle Farm. Got a video for you. We finally got just a little bit of a break in the weather. Got some new supplies in, so we're going to work on that alleyway to our squeeze chute or loading the trailer. Thought we'd bring you along. Watch the family get some stuff done. It's very muddy. It just started to thaw. Mud's about four inches thick, so we're trying to get some stuff done, but it's going to be muddy. So trying to condense an entire day down for you. Just uh, wanted to bring you along. We'll watch and laugh along as we uh, fight through the mud and slippery conditions to build this final alleyway that we've been wanting off of our bud box. It'll make it easier to handle the cattle and the pigs. So you'll see me working here. We, we hung this three-point post hole digger on a custom-made bracket a couple years ago. It basically just holds it up in the air like a little arm, knocks out of the way once we're all hooked up to the tractor. More of those little projects you see on the side coming together. This is one of those things that took an hour or two at the time, but we've used it over and over again through the years. Man, I pinched the heck out of my finger, putting that pin back in. One of those spring-loaded clips snapped me pretty good. Keep it up. Oh, okay. So when you leave, turn left so this kicks around. Nice and slow. Dead. So watch out the handle. And like we always tell you, the kids are learning a lot. This is a 14-year-old driving a work truck. It's going to be a little muddy. He's going to get stuck. But talk about getting ready. This is going to make them better drivers. key here is don't let the truck's momentum stop. You don't want to spin the tires, but it's really muddy, so I'm trying to get him up to the high spot of grass out of the mud pits. And don't spin the tires, don't stop moving. Nice and steady, just keep it rolling. But, a little bit too much gas pedal, tires break free, truck just stops. And I don't know where I'm going. Huh? I don't know where I'm going. You were spinning your tires. Your gas pedal was too fast. Jump out. I'm with the seat forward, by the way. Huh? I'm with the seat forward, so. Well, I'm going to try an old school trick to get this moving, but he's a little bit shorter than me. So forgive me for hanging out the car door. But he's moved the seat up and done all his adjustments, and I want to move them. It's just too muddy. We'll have to push it forward a little bit here with the tractor and then that'll get the tools where we want them to be. We'll pull it out later. Biggest thing is just get up here on this drier area so we can walk to and from the doors without dropping tools in the mud. And we'll get this project done today. So do you see what I was doing? 
Yeah. Try and just not get the tires to break free. But you hit this really mucky spot. That's why I said don't stop. You're trying to land on a bunch of grass. Yeah, but it's all going to turn into that. It will. Don't stop! He started spinning the tires. I'm like, oh no! Well, don't do that either. <laughs> I, I wasn't stopping. <laughs> she loses track. No, no, they lose the grass over here on the hillside. <laughs> it, Dad, it's not grass. It's mud in disguise. <laughs> Why'd you bring them out here? Because they need it. I think I want to tie the leads to like a gate or something. Come here. Is that closed? Did you close that? And that's closed? Everything's closed? They can get through it. I don't think they're going to walk away. So you saw a little moment of panic there. This will be the first time the new pups are off lead. No collars. No control. All voice commands. So you see a little bit of panic there from uh, Mrs. TC and TC1. 32 feet. So, 32 feet. How many posts do we have to put in? 800. What, what are you doing? What? Are you writing a book? Play yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, 36 is nominal. That's 24, which is the back of that trailer, but that's fine. 36, we can still catch it. In the worst case scenario, we make little wings or something on the end of it. Okay, so, I need the... Put the tractor off for a minute. Let's do some layout. So we're working on this because we've got to load three steer. It's that time of year for us. We're going to take uh, three steer in. We sell halves, holes, quarters. In addition to our pork, we sell beef. What we don't sell in holes, we keep back also for freezer beef. It'll be USDA stamped and retail packaged. That'll be available through St. Louis Market Wagon through our website. Haven't been able to reliably find a way to get you guys our meats shipped farther than the St. Louis Market, which is fine. We're trying to do farm to table anyway. But just bear in mind that it has to be overnighted or two day. Dry ice, packaging, it just hasn't been reasonable for us. We've got to get this project finished. We've kind of waited until the ground thawed enough that we could drill our holes for the posts. We also had to get some more supplies in. Everything that's been going on, supplies have been very limited. Finally got them in. So we're going to put the alleyway on that we've been trying to do since last fall, winter. Just trying to get everything set up in all of this mud. So what you're looking at is these little wings that we'd put on using 4x8 sheets of OSB. These were for loading the pigs. These are plenty tall for pigs, but for the uh, cattle, we're going to have to have some actual alleyway built here. So we're removing these. They were only temporary. It worked out great. The pigs loaded, no stress. Now we're aiming to try to make it to where pigs and cattle can load or go into the squeeze chute without any hassle, fuss, stress on the animals. Yeah, they're going to sleep good later today. Fun part of you. Go with speed. What was that? Hang on a second. 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 H
Oh. Would you like me to take a mile? <laughs> you don't even want to know. Talk about muddy. Made for a longer day. Boots are heavy. Feels like you're carrying 50 pounds of mud. But it was beautiful weather and a pretty sky. The dogs are loving it. Mrs. TC is not looking forward to the mud in the house, but uh, it was a good day. Oh, look at their back. Yeah. God damn. They were so clean and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> they will be again because you're going to help me give them back. Weren't you supposed to do last time? Yeah, you were supposed to last time and didn't. They go under it. So our two main posts are going to be eight inch posts. Those are 10 foot long. And then everything in between will be those four inch posts. Those are only eight footers. Make a little mistake later. If you catch it, type in the comments. But uh, we dug a little deep on the eight foot post holes. Yeah. Oh, honey. I so wish I'd have had a camera when these girls came face to face with the chickens. They just stopped and their tails went up a little. We're only building a 32 foot alleyway. Be five quarter boards on both sides, six inch spacing. The main thing we're after, we only handle a handful of cattle at a time. We just want an alleyway that allows them to come out of the bud box into the alley and be ready for either loading or squeeze shoot. I've said it before, this machine can be dangerous, so please be careful. If you're going to try this at home, read all your safety manuals, but please be careful. Jesus. Okay, so there was a minor mistake. Leave comments below if you saw it. The post is just a hair bit farther than we need it to be. Remember, dimensional lumber is 16 feet. So if you missed it, we pulled the tape from the edge of the existing post and laid out the measurement to where the center of the new post is going to be. That makes everything for their back 32 feet off by almost four inches.
The longest part of this video is laying out these posts, these two king posts, let's call them. They set all of the line, square, all of the dimensions for the other posts. About half post, right at the halfway mark. See it? Yep. And that was the correction. Yes, I got it. I walked back and verified and then started to lay out the posts. I catch the error and try to make up the difference. Long and short of it, we're going to be cutting some boards. There's going to be some extra waste. Maybe we can use them in a future project. But that's what happens when your original stretch measurements are wrong. I can carry that three over there. Invincible teenagers, huh? I turn around and see that my son has decided he's going to carry posts all the way back to the work site. Good job. A little bit unnecessary. Eventually you'll learn, but good job. <laughs> and of course a little competition from his sister means that he's going to carry the third post also I got it They're eight foot tall though, Dad. Yeah. Did you see it? Don't even see the bus, right? That's an eight foot post. It's been dropped in the hole. We dug that hole at a full three foot, so we don't have six foot sticking over. You'll see it better when my son's standing next to it, but uh yeah. <laughs> The green? I think it was Ace. Gold in that hole is where you'll find it. She's sitting there acting. This part goes pretty easy. We use a six inch jig, so block, 
We've got two of them cut, one for each end of the board. Once you get your first board set where you want it above ground level, six inches, four inches, what have you. From there, we just set that six inch right on top of that and run them straight up. Here we go. So after making the vertical line, just cut it with a circular saw. We're very, very careful not to drop hardware. Quick view from the bud box. This is the completed alley. So much easier to love the cows or even the pigs. Once the post is set, they shouldn't be able to knock it over. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate your time. We've got products available through the St. Louis market on Market Wagon. Let's see, how are they going to get out? Go to our website, check us out, hit subscribe. Please keep supporting us. Trying to keep you on board. It's hard to keep these videos short. I really uh, go back to hats off to all those that managed to do this and run a full-time off-farm job while getting all of these chores done. Looks like a simple job, but it was an all-day affair following video you should be able to find us loading the steer in using this new alleyway so please click over to our next video and uh, stay on board with us